That's see? such a power shot there. Like, <laughs> that's, that's true. I think before you pause, she says, you ever fantasize about being killed? And then he paused it. Oh, really? So, <laughs> just to give you a heads up to what we're going to go into here. <laughs> Five hundred and fifty-four. I'm Ozone Ocean, and with me is Pit Baines and Tarns. Hi, my fellow zombies. Hello. I can't wave this time because you can't see it. So, in order not to sound rude, I just have to say hello. So, hello. Yeah. No, this is the you waving show. anyway. <laughs> That's oh, so it. rude. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Where am I? What day of the week is it? Am I having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> just don't do it on camera, okay? <laughs> okay. So you won't be doing it on camera. Cameras are off. Oh, God. So people are being all sorts of uh, naughty without their cameras. Damn it, this is why you names. need to survey people. Surveillance. <laughs> to stop <laughs> people being naughty. Um, so, yeah, this week we're doing something special because Halloween is coming up on the 31st, which is uh, next week sometime. Sunday, Monday, so, well, not. Sunday. Yeah. Well, for you, it's... I don't know. It's the same. They'll be there eventually. Just, yeah. Just before you guys. But, um, yeah. So, because of that, we're doing a special thing. We're doing a commentary of a horror film, a very famous one called Return of the Living Dead, which is, uh, like a, yeah, a great little zombie flick. So, it's about zombies. Tarns and Baines, and not Tarns and Pitt and Baines absolutely love it. They recommend it as highly as possible so it's uh it would be a good one for us to sort of um to talk about it's a like a horror comedy well mainly yeah. horror not so much comedy but there's bits of it in there it's admirable that you're trying to describe a movie that you've never seen before <laughs> <laughs> this yes yeah, will be my very first time i am a, a, a zombie virgin so yeah <laughs> like a virgin eaten for the very first time <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear but before we get into that we've got to bring up the featured comic that Clyde Guxa has kindly given us for this week which was a little comic called Rabbit and Corvid so Clyde tell us about Rabbit and Corvid <laughs> Hello, this is Clyde Aguxe, and the feature I've selected for this week is Rabbit and Corvid by JML Gorilla Comics, and it is rated E for everyone. It is a bunny. It is a plane. Wait, is that a superhero in a rabbit suit? Welcome to Rabbit's World, where she takes on the day-to-day -day life as a member of the Reach for the Stars gymnastics team on a temporary leave as a full-time sketchbook illustrator after a bad ankle sprain leaves her out of commission. On the other side of the map is Corvid, a mysterious figure always seen among a collection of crows. This collection of vignettes tells the story of two guerrilla artists as they face off against each other. The comic art is formatted in full pages of digital color. Don a costume in the same fashion as Tennessee and read Rabbit and Corvid by JML Gorilla Comics, rated E. And that was Quiet's featured comic, Rabbit and Corvid. I keep on thinking it is COVID. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, after that, so Gumwallis, Gumwallis, what have you got for us this week? Well, Gumwallis was busy this week, so we're playing an older theme. This week it is Scarred Eden. A million futuristic laser violins play a symphony of light and sound weaving the landscapes of our dreams against the awesomely huge backdrop of a swirling purple star-filled nebula. Sounds very um, Jean-Michel Jarre kind of uh, oxygen almost. It's a kind of um, very 80s sound actually, 80s electronic, and it reminds me very much of the music in this film, funnily enough. 
Okay, so take it away, Gummles, with the replay of Scarred Eden. <laughs> composing that nice theme to comic Scarred Eden by Dame Helsing, rated M. And she, of course, does our Sunday news posts. So be sure to have a look at those and have another look at Scarred Eden. It's a really great little comic. Okay, back to our show. And we're back. So, guys, let's, uh, let's dive into this freaking film. The Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> Let's no no more further adieu, as they say it. Adieu, not adieu. Only idiots say adieu. It's a different word. Anyway, so no no further ado. Let's um watch it. Okay, pressing play now. Oh, I I messed up. I changed. The Were you server. not recording? Oh no, I'm recording. No, it's okay. I just oh. changed servers. The Stupid. events portrayed in this film are all true. The names are all true. Yeah, it's all true. And the organizations. So is this coming through all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the return of the dead. Well, I got another hour's work to do. The you kid's like going to stick with me and then I'll show him the road. The okay, you lock up for me before you go. Very Fourth good. of July weekend, buddy boy. Oh, yeah, like yeah. I thought we'd make a scene. Nice and I'll see you Sunday at the barbecue. <laughs> you better believe it. I'll be there with oh, bells on. You'll love the music in those odds. I want to tell you something. I mean, Great sincerely, music. no matter what happens, don't name it after me. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're in, we're in a, little, uh, right. a warehouse full of... Like it's a joke. Props. Okay, Freddie, follow me and learn something. Okay? No, so they're, they're, they're at a medical Louis supply University warehouse, school, which is the perfect setting for a zombie outbreak. Yeah. That's a 2AFPT. Okay, so you come over here to the A section. That's A for adults, eh? Okay. Then that's divided up into two sections. That's divided into the M for male and the F for female. Good boy. <laughs> now, the PT. I suppose you think that's pretty tough, but no, that's... Perfect teeth. Very good. Now you get some excelsior so, yeah, over there and lay it in that crate. Make a nice skeletons. little Betty buy for this little lady. <laughs> I think people are watching the movie as they listen to this. Yeah. Good work. We want her to be comfortable. Now help me get her yeah. in. Grab her legs. So, okay. What's up? How you get some of that the moment of styrofoam describing. popcorn? <laughs> so the Spread it all around. Oh, let's just let this guy. Uncle Bird's paying for this. <laughs> More, Freddy, more. Okay, that's well, it's a great looking set, yeah, also. Full of uh, tons of texture. Right. All the things I've never nice noticed work. before. I've Thanks. probably seen this movie like 25 times. Right? There's no oh, horror yeah. feeling at all. From, oh, they come from it's, India. These mm -hmm. guys are International a treaty. All kind of skeletons setup. come from India. No yeah. kidding, how come? How the hell do I know how come? The important question is, where do they get all the skeletons with perfect teeth? I'm going to ask you a serious question. Exactly. How many people you know <laughs> die? With a beautiful, perfect set of choppers in their puss, huh? In oh, their puss? Yeah, no, I think <laughs> that's a dancer that's <laughs> getting a bit. Uh... <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, kid. Hi, oh, your uncle here. <laughs> here we go. It's a phrase we don't have to tell you what these are for. Ba 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 boo. Yeah, this movie see this movie here suddenly turns into the speed. prosthetic devices <laughs> all around here. Look under there. Wow. Hey, wheelchairs. Right. Now, Freddy, is it great? here's something you don't see very often. You're a privileged person. These are split dogs. Wow. Yep, for veterinarian schools. 
Oh, we got a lot of orders. They look very fake, though. That's really rad. Props. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fool around. You'll learn. <laughs> Over here, Freddy. It's the only real we'll thing in the movie. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we sell these to medical schools and for the U.S. Army for ballistic tests. Here's a creepy moment. Creepy visual. Well, say hello. If you teach this in horror school, like you put a creepy thing geared behind plastic or a curtain, they probably do teach it in horror school. And then have that blah. <laughs> that I love easy. that. The old horror yeah, movies. Know, That's what my soul sounds like. The rest of business <laughs> try to lose its freshness. <laughs> Tell you what I'll do, kid. Teach you how to fill out these shipping forms. Look alive. Okay, here now, I think, is where they're going to explain the Night of the Living Dead continuity. No, we're going to party tonight. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we are going to party. That party would fall apart. Where are we going to party? I don't know. Somewhere. Hey, we could go to the party. Oh, no, we can't. The cops said they'd shoot us if we go back to the party. Yeah, and I ain't in no mood to die tonight. I like death. I like death with sex. How about you, Casey? You like sex with death? Yeah, so fuck up and die. So what are we going to party tonight, Tina? Oh, you guys, that'd be really rad. But I'm supposed to meet Freddy when he gets off work. They yeah, look so ages. At this medical supply warehouse where he's working. Oh, no, so. you got a job. <laughs> what a job. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say so? Why do we all go This isn't Freddy? even a modern yeah, movie trying to be 80s. Party. This is like the 80s be the 80s being as 80s as it can possibly be. The 80s yeah. trying yeah. to be 80s. <laughs> Frank? Yeah, kid. What's the weirdest thing you've ever saw in here? Here we go. Oh, here we go. I have seen weird things come, and I have seen weird things go. The weirdest thing I ever saw just had to cap it off. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's that? Let me ask you a question, kid. Did you see that movie, Night of the Living Dead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one where the corpses start eating the people, right? Sure. What, what about it? Did you know that movie was based on a true case? <laughs> Come on, you're shitting me, right? I ain't never been more serious in my life. That's not possible. I mean, they showed zombies taking over the world. <laughs> they changed it all around. What really happened was, back in 1969 in Pittsburgh at the VA hospital, there was a chemical spill. And all that stuff kind of leaked down into the morgue. And it made all the dead bodies kind of jump around as though it was alive. What chemical? 245 trioxin, it's called. It was to kind of spray on marijuana or something. And the Darrow Chemical Company was trying to develop it for the army. And they told the guy who made the movie that if he told the true story, they'd just soup his ass off. So he changed all the facts around. So what really happened? They closed it all down, see? And the army shipped all that contaminated dirt and all those dead bodies out. <laughs> and they kept it a secret. <laughs> so how come you know about it? What typical army fuck up? The transportation department got the orders crossed. And they shipped those bodies in. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so is it true or is he just scaring you? I know. You're about I'll to find out. Find out. Find out. The, uh, pot roast hot, okay? If he's lying, then this is going to be a real boring movie. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? The basement. No. I like his Duma Arigato shirt. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Duma Arigato. <laughs> Mr. Roboto. Hey, mind the third step, it's a bitch. And they just brought those bodies here and left them? Well, you know the army. And they've been here all this time? Fourteen years, as I recall. No kidding. Fourteen years, Sarah. Now, 
Body <laughs> Very American. Good job, Oz. <laughs> They are zombies brought to life by chemicals. Yeah, yeah good memory veins. I forgot that they. Oh shit! That, yeah. Look at that. Well, just, this is how I sleep now because I saw this movie. So they say. <laughs> I remember. Hey, these things don't leak, do they? Leak? Hell no. These things were made by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's how we were away. And we keep these. Ah. Master trick. Perfect. Couldn't be any better. Return to the living day. Well, is this gonna cut to a military? Commander after this? When I was a kid, I always remembered this movie not cutting to the military. But when I got it on DVD, I think it starts with the food like, on the military but Now it's right into this, which I think is better. But I could be misremembering. Maybe cut to the military after this. Doesn't that music make you just <laughs> I don't know, it makes it too hard to get you guys. Who directed this film? Dan O'Bannon. Oh, no, Then we go to the military. Okay, I thought there were alternative cuts to this movie, which would have been weird. It could be. I, not that I ever knew of, but uh, yeah, this is my memory playing the tricks. My memory tricks me all the time when I'm watching films. MP. Yeah, you know, when they, the cast got together for this movie, I know that they rehearsed a ton. Like, they rehearsed the entire script. Wow. Oh, really? Most of the actors, yeah. Which I think was a must have been a huge help. Yeah. To having you see how all the kids are, like, very comfortable with each other. Yeah. You'll see this later. Hello, dear. Great. I agree with you? everyone. Usual. Everyone's really, like, solid on what they're doing. Your favorite, lamb chops. <laughs> Look at this woman. Jesus. This is so odd. Like, I, I watched this movie a ton when I was a, t a teenager and then didn't watch for many years. And when I came back, like, it was weird to see this scene because I had zero memory of any of this stuff. Yeah, you would, like, compared yeah, to the rest of the movie, you wouldn't remember this, you know? I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess for good reason, yeah. It's kind of like, hmm. But it it already sets up like the, the relationship between these two and uh, like it tells you so much even the room being so red yeah. right it's nerve wracking to live around that equipment all the time they have to be able to reach me 24 hours a day wherever I am you know that well that microwave stuff affects my oven we find them, you can have the equipment taken out. But when will you find them? Christ, Ethel, I don't know. <laughs> Ethel. Ethel. Maybe we'll never find <laughs> them. Ethel. We've been through all this before. They could be anywhere. I say he's actually looking for the zombie. Yeah. Where the fuck are we going anyway? The party! <laughs> Oh, no, 
shit, what job? He's a soccer player. Oh yeah, that sounds like a shitty job. Well, it isn't the president of the United that States. That's crazy, he's a president. He's a president. Yeah, maybe you want something for me, huh? He don't like it when he steps to his side. He pretends that he has to come to his head with his lip. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's also dangerous to choke out one of your friends while you're driving. <laughs> yes. Ugly, <laughs> please. I like it. This, it's it's that's a. Come on, let's go get the prick. Who is that? Oh, it might pick out his boss. Well, that's not nice. Yeah, what does he think we are? Weird or something? What time is Freddy get off? off of 10 o'clock. I ain't sitting here two fucking hours. Oh, well, we could always go drive around. I don't got gas. You want to buy some gas, idiot? I was kidding. We could go fool around in there for a while. You mean that cemetery? Oh, oh, oh let's do that. Let's do that. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Resurrection. Oh, <laughs> it's laying it on a bit thick there. I suppose this film is meant to be soft. No, I just want to look around the grave because it goes I on. You'll become more comfortable with that statement. I never knew nobody that died. I don't think it's such a good idea. What's that? Road flares, ass wipe. What do you want with dog? I just want a party. What are the road flares for? Oh, I love the banter. <laughs> God, that red hair is like, is it real? Man, this place no. is a mess. It looks like a wig to me. Yeah. He's like one of the iconic, like, low budget horror actresses from the 80s. You know, Mia Kugnick. And that. Not that I, I, without the behind the scenes stuff, I never would have known. I wouldn't have recognized her. Oh, yeah. That hair changes her whole look. And... You, you wouldn't recognize her with her clothes on. That too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know a ton of obscure horror movies, really, so when I hear her name, I think of this. Yeah. Uh, you okay, kid? Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Me. So the zombie what the happened to the body? Not <laughs> Must have melted when it hit the air. Close the goddamn mm. thing. <laughs> what? Was that by it? It got liquefied, we oh, said. Yeah, yeah. Christ, I never smelled anything. The like open that air before. hit it, melted, and then it just. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> so these two are gonna be the first zombies. <laughs> Maybe. Unless it just uh, resurrects the dead in the cemetery. Listen, I don't guess we better tell Bert about this. It makes us look stupid or something. I can still smell that stuff. It must be in my nose. Either that or it's all over everything. Yeah, I better spray some deodorant around here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a little for the <laughs> They're making very zombie noises. <laughs> <coughs> Sounds like a dog. <laughs> oh no, the half dog is alive. Here we are. Hear that? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dead butterflies are coming a lot. We 
different ways of dying you know violently I wonder like what would be the most horrible way to die <laughs> try not oh, to think about dying too much veins mm. yes I got your little <laughs> the worst way would be for a bunch of old men to get around me oh my and God. start fighting and eating me alive. No. <laughs> First, they would tear off my clothes. Oh, oh, God. Some light over here. Ash is taking off her clothes again. <laughs> he has nice moves. Yeah, are they real or what? That's... Yeah. Very well shaped boots. Throw it, baby. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what a cough block. Oh, she's done there. Okay. Full <laughs> frontal. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice button. There you go. So, yeah, and <laughs> leg warmers, full on leg warmers without, yeah, feet, but they're like thigh high leg warmers. For the sort Let's of just play sex to the scene until it decides to play it then. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how it wasn't skipping Peter, on the other scene. It, you yeah. Oh, weird. Head. What's the matter with you, Frank? Have you missed a lot of it. Oh, well. She just dances tanks. more. It's fine. Did that just jump? What are we gonna do? Past. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think it's gonna be sued by the Dural Chemical Company. I'm gonna be investigated. Yeah, I wanna go back. Government. Fuck that. First. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna go all the way back. Jesus. <laughs> Jumping around. Right. Ah, oh, okay. Whatever. One question, Frank. This guy screaming in here, you sure he's a dead cadaver? Why don't you open the door and find out? I'm oh, sorry, Frank. I'll take your word for that. If it is a reanimated body. We don't have to. We don't have to kill it. How do you kill something that's already dead? Well, how do I know, Fred? I don't know. Let me think. It's not a bad question, Bert. In that movie, they destroyed the brain to kill him. Is that what they did? The brain, right? Yeah. What do doctors use to crack skulls? With? Surgical drills. Here, hold this, Frank. Oh. Now listen to me, both of you, very carefully. Freddy, you got to open that door. <laughs> Come here, you stand right over here. Frank, right here, and when it comes out, you drain it with that axe. Oh, Jesus! Would you open that door? I would never open that door. Fred, come here. Get down there. Please, stand by the door. I'd already be 12 miles away. I don't think I can do this, I think I'd just be blocking it with everything. 22 right. Be brave, Frank! God damn it! Four left! <laughs> Ten right! He's so sweaty. <laughs> Oh, 
Constant screaming. <laughs> that adds so much to the movie. Oh, it ain't working now. You mean the movie line? Oh, you mean the movie line? Oh. All your references, Baines. Yeah. How are we oh, it's a bad idea movie. to watch this. Maybe People we'll realize. <laughs> All I ever say is quotations from this movie. Well, we're just gonna destroy it completely until there's nothing left. Acid. What kind of acid would dissolve a body, though? Sulfuric acid, maybe. No, no. Aqua regia. That's stronger. That's better. But what if it doesn't Aqua dissolve everything? Aqua regia doesn't dissolve uh, body. Shit. Dissolving gold, you tit. What are we gonna do? Bird. Where are you going? Sometimes Ernie Carlton Brunner works late on Friday nights. Well, who's Ernie Carlton Brunner? He's the embalmer at the mortuary across the street. Well, what the hell's he gonna do for us? His light's on. He's in. Ernie's got a crematorium across the street, Frank. Crematorium? That's beautiful! <laughs> if he can get him to go along with it. That's beautiful! Five years, he might do it out of friendship. I'm not sure. Yeah, but what the hell are you gonna tell him? I mean, can you trust that bastard? I don't think we have a choice, Frank. How the... How are we going to get this thing over there? Give me the bone saw. So they cut the body off into little pieces. Why don't you put your clothes on? The show's over. What's the matter? Does it make you nervous? I'm hot. She is hot. Yeah, you are hot. Scram, <laughs> William. <laughs> Nobody understands me, you know what? She's tiny. I fucking Look at bust my ass for you guys. What miniature do I she is next to He's that spooky, huge guy. Fuck you, man. Fuck you all. <laughs> I like it spooky. I mean, I got something to say, you know. What do you think this is all about? You think this is a fucking costume? This is a way of life. Um, yes. What was that, Tom? Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Please, Tom. Show some fucking yeah. respect for the dead, will you? Yes. <laughs> Hey, is that Freddy? Where? Over there, going into that building. Nope, that is not Freddy. How would you know? Because why would Freddy be going into a mortuary? So he's a bit of a yucky. That's a bit weird. It would have been next bag. These, and if they could have done it again, they would have made everyone more punkish, mm -hmm. a little more cohesive. <laughs> Maybe other than Tina, oh, like the a nice girl. <laughs> Yeah. In this group for some reason. Sandra D. Oh, Jesus. Embalming. Oh, so this guy's going to come alive now, too. I think it's kind of... I think... If, if I understand it, Freddy is friends with them. And she's hanging out with them to get... To, I wasn't totally sure. Don't listen to me. Good call. That makes sense. I don't ever speak the truth. Yeah, well, that, that actually makes, makes it ring true, yeah. Because she doesn't really what do you say, Ernie? like get on that well with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are. Another break. In the crappy stream.
<laughs> Don't take too long. Well, it's too bad. I mean, it's amazing we can do this at all, but it's a bummer. We have to reanimate the stream. Yeah. Let's go with some dioxin in. Fast on the draw. Fast on the draw there. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty much. This dude, I think, was a, a Western actor. Not not the new guy, Ernie, but Bert. Oh, no, thank you. He's Ernie and Bert. I do, and I need it. The, the boss who we've been with since the beginning here. Um, what, uh, what are you doing, Ernie? Steve Villager is his name. Like a, I think he had a huge career as a cowboy. Oh. Like in westerns in the 50s. Oh, 60s. Yeah. Starts um, right. Right. And it's spreads yeah. down to the internal organs. It's like had this Finally massive career. Months. Months. A lot of these guys, when they get older, like they'll end up doing like horror movies. It, uh, <laughs> loosens up after a while. But, uh, <laughs> right around screaming. You can bring it kind of like, oh, this is crap. And yeah, look at all of them like don't like these movies at first. And then they realize they come up and they love it. I love how calm he is in this book, scene now. It's like he Bombing wasn't business. running around it's screaming his head off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's just waiting for the opening to tell him the terrible thing that he needs to tell him. <laughs> yeah, you can't run in there ranting and leaving. You need a bit of a lead up for that. How long have we been friends, Ernie? About how long? 25 years, give or take. Yeah. Uh, if I ask you a favor, could you keep it quiet? Ah, uh, brains. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is nice and eighty still because you're listening to a Walkman. Well, I'm going to need some help, Ernie, in a pretty big way, really. It could depend on me. What? What's wrong? Uh, I got a couple of my men out here. Do you, you mind if I, no, I bring yeah, it? A bird! No, bird, that's illegal. Can I bring it on in now, please? Damn. Fred, you can put it right over here. Right here. Right. Yeah. Right All right, down what there. is that? <laughs> what the hell's in those bags? Well. Rabbit weasels. What? What the hell are you doing with a bunch of rabbit well, I was weasels? I'm trying to explain it to you, Ernie. You know, they came in as part of a ship, and of course they weren't supposed to be a rabbit, you know, but you know how these things happen. Oh, I don't know how they happen. Well, watch out, watch out, Ernie. Don't get bit. Yeah. Anyway, we got them, and we need your help. <laughs> we got to get rid of these things. Well, why didn't you call an animal shelter? Well, word get out and hurt my business. You know, that's a bad scene, rabies. I don't think so. I mean, so what? We don't run a pet store. So some lab animals got rabies. Come on. Guys, take them to the pound. Well, I just can't do that. You gotta you gotta take my word for it. <laughs> Jesus. What the hell do you want me to do? He's not a very quick you thinker. You have a crematorium, right? You wanna burn them? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I had in mind, actually. <laughs> Well, I can't think of anything else to do, Ernie. You, you, you just can't burn animals alive. It's just too hideous, isn't it? At least let me kill them first. Take them out in the parking lot and put them out in the air. I don't think that'd work, Ernie. I don't, I don't understand what's going on, but why not? Can you swear to keep a secret, Ernie? At this point, I don't know. No, no, you, you, you got to swear. You got to. I just can't. I can't tell you. All right. I swear. Good. It's not weasels in the bags. No shit. <laughs> Look at these eyes. I love 
like how they made the body yellow. Yeah. So it means they don't have to match the flesh tone. Oh yeah. Makes pop making a lot easier. Ernie, we got a we got a long story to tell you. Oh great, some party. What happened to trash and suicide? Probably getting it on somewhere. Trash and Don't suicide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big, the big nasty guy is suicide. The dancing red hair is trash. The black guy is spider. The mohawk guy is guys. Guys. Yeah, it's guys. Yeah. Go choke a chicken. Oh, come At least on, two, I don't Jesus. remember this. Name, sure. She's Casey. Oh, great. Your friend and mine. oh Casey. Hey, fuck you, ball buster. Going on ten. Oh, fudge! I better get over and find Freddy. Oh, He's gonna fudge. figure it out anytime now. Oh, fudge! Fudge! fudge. Don't go anywhere. Oh, that's Tina. Lady. She's very yuppie or preppy or whatever the term mm -hmm. would be back then. She was about to have a She's very a not good fun time. Yes. <laughs> On the wrong side of the tracks. How did she get over that? Talking up the seats. Yes, yes. Interesting headband. It's like a coil thing. I didn't know they had those back then. Yeah. Cool. You need a medical supply. There was a place <laughs> near where I used to live called Unita. I don't think it was a medical on, place, but. Are you? That's a, not a bad businessman. I think you acted precipitously. Yeah. There's a disc course. company called You well, Need a Biscuit. Well, you may be right. I don't know, but I did it. So <laughs> what, you what need are we going to do about it? Eddie? Clever. If I let you use the retort, what's in it for me? What do you want? You won't get dead. Huh. Well, uh, yeah. the way I see it, this is a pretty big thing. Well, you got it. Whatever it is you want. So help me. I'll, I'll do it, I promise. Sorry about <laughs> He's gonna make himself a pair of shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities, man. You gotta get rid of this dead zombie, man. <laughs> Worry about your fashion. Let's take care of your problem. Parts like that, I wonder if they were written in the script or if they were like improv. Yeah, I wonder. It almost seems like once he's on yes, set, sir, with the thing they made, it's like that's the big one. And buddy boy, you can yeah. get rid of everything for me. Nothing left. Is that right? Everything will go. What? What about your bones, huh? Bones are no problem. Hardest thing to burn is the heart. Art? Why? What? Because it's just one big tough muscle. Yeah, but Ernie, I mean, come on, we don't, we don't want the heart sticking around. Then I'll turn it up hotter for the heart. What about the split dogs? They gotta the, go. Their split dogs will go too. Come on, just give me a hand. It's, it's your mess. Oh. No. No. Ah. Ah. Some big favor. I can operate that goddamn thing. Are you absolutely certain that this is gonna get rid of everything and do the trick? I mean, nothing left. Nothing but a little bitty pile of ashes. Well, we don't even want the ashes, eh? Then I'll take the fire and we'll burn up the ashes too. <laughs> Apparently, with the crematoriums, it doesn't burn that much. Dust to dust. Like, no, yeah, there's bones left over. I only know that because I think it's law here at least to where it's. Um, the bones that are left over have to be crunched up manually afterwards. Yeah. 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 That'd be disgusting.
Oh, was it making the problem in a worse? <laughs> Next event. With the, the smoke filling the screen. Oh, it will rain! Yeah. It rains and it spreads all the way onto the, uh, the conveniently desert cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> She's still naked. <laughs> Poor actor. Cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. Is the heart gone, honey? It's all burned up. Are you sure? Right up the chimney. God damn, so we need. We're home free, Frank. We got it made. <laughs> you saved our ass, buddy boy. And I owe you one. God damn! <laughs> oh, yes, you do. Let's get back to that warehouse, clean up the mess, and get the hell out of there. What do you say, Frank? Okay, just just give me a second to rest, catch my breath, then we'll do it, okay? Yeah, hey, Frank. I don't know about you, but I'm really sick. What? What's wrong, Fred? I feel like hell is what's wrong. I'm really sick. I'm sick too, Bert. Sick? Like how? I feel like my head's gonna bust wide open. You're gonna be zombies. And I'm weak too. Me too. And I got the chills. It's that stuff, Bert. It's that goddamn stuff we breathe. What stuff? What, what are you talking about, Frank? When that canister cracked, this gas squirted out. It hit us right in the face. We breathed it. It knocked us out. We were out cold unconscious for a while. Oh, Christ. Ernie. Should we get to a doctor or, or something like that? Yeah, Bert, I need a doctor. Man, I'm getting the car and taking these guys to the emergency ward right now. Let's go, oh Frank. Let me get you there. Oh, 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 Frank! Oh, oh, oh. Dead already, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's deader than the cadaver, cadaver guy with the dead leg. Is that a Hitler post? Wait, oh, wait. Yes. You fucking uh, see that? There's some paramedics over here right away. Hmm? That's the uh, yeah. resurrection yeah. funeral home. I'm gonna sound the crazy. Okay, you can't rewind it. Never mind. I just noticed something. Central. There's something going on with this uh, character. Well, tell him to come around the back. Apparently, there is, yeah. From the behind yeah. the scenes. Uh... Oh, oh, uh, 
in the documentary, I think he talks about it. Oh, does he? We have it's subtext. Here. It's never said that. Uh, well, no, we, we don't know what but, yeah, When they walk in, he's listening to, like, Wagner, I think, or something. And then, yeah. as it's raining, like, I forget what he says, but something in German. And then, I Bert swear to God, there was a fucking Hitler poster on the side of the fucking wall there. <laughs> Do you hear something? And his gun looks a bit German, doesn't it? Like a something. Yeah. It's not. It is. Yeah, that's right. It's a Luger. Is that a Luger? I think it was. Yeah. Does look a bit Lugerish. Yeah, I do. Well, the white hair is. Top of the naked lady. <laughs> Ready? Oh, how mean. Anybody? The zombies are here. <laughs> At least we know the skeletons don't reanimate. Not enough, um. Well, that's great. Muscle yeah. or anything. Ready? Some kind of muscle. Are you here? Oh yeah, there's extra barrels down here, isn't there? I forgot about those. Didn't they close the barrel? Okay. Who's there? <laughs> it's really saying bang. <laughs> into a great bit. <laughs> <laughs>
stick your tongue out for me. Very orange Ooh. tongue. I ate a lot of orange popsicles. What did you guys take? Uh, it was some kind of industrial chemical, I think. Something in a tank. What tank? Where? Well, we're, we're not sure, really. Well, can you find out? I mean, your friends' lives may depend on it. Yeah, well, I can make some phone calls, uh, but I, I can't do that before morning. Sorry. Let's take some vital signs. Exactly how are they doing by the vital signs? What's better? I can't hear anything through my... Well, are you sure it's the equipment? <gasps> They're already you dead. Mean? Well, I'm not getting anything on this either. What do you mean? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's all right. We just need to double check. <laughs> Guys, check the pulse first. Come on. That's <laughs> Yeah, Terrence is a pro. Take it easy. Take it easy. What do you have? 70. 70 what? 70 degrees. Well, what's that? Room temperature. Means you're dead. Hold me for a second, I want to talk Yay. to you. <laughs> what are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? She's bottomless. Get over there. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, Go back to Ava's diner, you see. Yeah. You can make it there, but just. There's a skeleton. <laughs> oh, I know, she's... Oh, oh, geez, the video has to stop again. <laughs> On her, it loves her. <laughs> but she's getting her wish about yeah. 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 eaten by old men. You have men. no pulse, your blood pressure is zero over zero. You have no pupillary response, no reflexes, your temperature is 70 degrees. What does that mean? Well, it's a yeah. puzzle. Because technically, you're not alive. Except you're conscious, so we don't know what it means. You saying we're dead? Well, let's not talk You're dead. You're dead. Look, obviously, I didn't mean you were really dead. You did. Dead. dead people don't move around and talk. What the hell's that, Ernie? Front door. What the fuck are they doing? We'll find out. Listen, we're gonna go get a couple of stretchers. Just hang in there. We won't be a second. Whipping out that loser again. Why would they get stretchers? They they can hear the walk. Uh, they seem pretty sick. Yeah, but they can walk. <laughs> Freeze you are dead! Don't shoot you! Are you crazy? Are you on PCP? Nobody's on any drugs, man. Just let us in. All right, come in, come in. No funny moves. Shit, no. no man, but you gotta lock all your doors and your windows and call the cops out there. What? Who's out there? Don't you hear that? What? Shut up and listen, man. What is it? It's dead people screaming. What are these dead people? Yes, they came from out of the ground and they're after us. Out of the ground? Yes, and our friends took off the other way and they're out there. Oh, 
are these two idiots? The yuppie in there. Trash! Where's Trash? Didn't she go with them? I thought she was with us! Hey, do you hear that? Hear what? Christ, Jesus. What is that? Sounds like people screaming. You get the stretchers. I'll get on the radio and phone this in. Talking to him. They're horrible. They scream, and you've got to scream. do something. Yes, Mister, they're out there, and there's one of them in that warehouse on the other side of the graveyard. Which, which warehouse? The medical supply. Oh house. shit! Shit! And they're... God damn! I, I, I think I, I think things are getting out of hand. Mister, there's a hundred of those things out there. A hundred? The cops. We gotta call the cops. Yeah. No more no less. Oh shit! Phone. Where the I fuck is the phone? All the time when we watch there, the movie. There's an office. Freddy looks steady. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have zombies this um, fast and healthy in my zombie films. No, we don't. No. <laughs> Actual MPP playing zombie. Oh, really? Yeah. Coat looks like a Gestapo not, coat. Not God damn it! <laughs> yes. <laughs> we will kill the zombies. <laughs> Dead Snow might be another one on the roster one day. Although I don't, I Push think you would damn. not like that. Not a fan of this one. Cinematography there with the um, uh, central kind of view. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who shot this, but I only remember someone who went on to be. The Serpent Dead! Oh,
Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. How intelligent are these zombies? It ruined hey. me a bit. Yeah, just put these zombies in a different category altogether. Come in this slash. Send more paramedics. Place. No, <laughs> the embalming room is steel shutters. Well, let's get the hell back to the embalming room then. Come on. How long are you going to stay in the embalming room? Man, my arms are dead. Put that goddamn thing down, Ernie, before you hurt somebody with it. Jesus. How are they doing? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you are? Yeah, I'm fine. What did you do to Freddy? What's wrong with him? Ellis man! You know, I think it's time you tell us what the fuck's going on. I don't on. have to tell you anything, dick brain. We think you should. <laughs> tell him, goddammit. <laughs> tell us! It was a chemical. It was some chemical that soaked into the soil of the graveyard and made the corpses come back to life. Yeah, what fucking chemical? I don't know what chemical, goddammit! It was ordered by the military, I think. I think it was. Well, you mind telling me how the fuck did it get all over the graveyard? I don't know. I just... <laughs> all I know is that it was stored over at the medical supply warehouse where you were, and these two geniuses managed to open a goddamn container and let the son of a bitch out! Let him out! Is that my friend uh, sick? I breathed it, Tina. So did, so did Frank there. <laughs> what did it do to you, Frank? I'm freezing... My muscles are stiffening up. Stiffening up? Stiffening up now, Freddy. First, I got a really fucked headache. Then, then my my stomach started cramping, cramping up. Now my arms and legs are cramping. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Let's get a shirt. Huh? Oh. What are you doing, Freddy? Oh, you see. Oh, God. Oh, damn. Uh, the bruise is where he's lying down. Uh, that's blood pooling up. Uh, okay. 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 You know, it looks like uh, rigor mortis is setting in. Rigor mortis? What do you mean, rigor mortis? You're dead. You're dead, man, and you're gonna turn into one of those things out there! No! No! Yes! Yes! Rickard Marty is everywhere except his mouth, I guess, that? and his job. Yeah, unfortunately. What is that? It's another paramedic ambulance. <laughs> Said more paramedics. It's like ordering pizza to these zombies. Watch out! Hey! Watch out! Don't go over there! Don't be bad! I love I'd love it if they just kept ordering more. Zombies that would be that smell that work together like that. Yeah. <laughs> so quick. Skeleton hands. Oh, there we go. Ew! This, there you go, there's your pink haired lady.
You can let go of it now. Are you crazy? Look at it. Oh. It looks better. It's better. We gotta get out of here, Ernie. <laughs> Ernie, we gotta get the fuck out of here. That's... Leave it. Gross. What are you doing? <laughs> God, <laughs> I don't understand what you want with it, Ernie. I mean, what are we doing with it? I want to examine it. You make I love sure it how she right. makes breathing noises it's when she hasn't got any lungs. It's not going to get a loose, right? I mean, let alone try to say the word brains with no lips. <laughs> yes. It would probably sound more like brains. In the damn head. Yeah, Are you sure brains. that means good? Full brains. You can hear me. Yes. Why do you eat people? Not people. Brains. Brains. Yeah, you're right about the spinal yes. cord. <laughs> Why? The pain. What about the pain? The pain of being dead. Hurts to be dead. <laughs> there you go. I can feel myself rot. That's a terrifying thought. That is. See us? We don't need to go. Consider it. The pain go away. Wait, that's not relevant to anyone listening. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man. Fuck this. I gotta talk to you. Now. Come on, I gotta talk. We gotta talk. No, let's talk out now. Look at the actress playing that zombie on RTB. Things. No, you don't. What <laughs> the fuck do you mean you don't? Bird, you can't kill those mothers. They're already dead. You gotta understand they're not living creatures. They're animated. I mean, you can chop them up into pieces to pieces or still come after you. All you can do is just burn them. You gotta totally reduce them to ashes so there's nothing left to come after you. How are you gonna burn all those things? Man, it's a hundred of those fuckers. Yeah, that is the question. Acid would probably be a good way to go. Oh, we're going to have to stop again and restart. Oh, well, right before another iconic trash <laughs> moment. <Yeah. laughs> oh, is this the rebirth of trash? Oh, God. Oh, oh. Or, did Recycled. I say recycling? <laughs> trash zombie. Yeah. Recycle. She's very much like a, a pit face character, isn't she, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All this stuff, like, you know, the sort of style of the zombies, it's very pit face. It's like the movie of her art. Guys. The vibe is... Nope. Oh, wow. So she's like the ultimate demon zombie creature. You know she can be naked, isn't it? Two paramedic vehicles missing in the East Piedmont District. Request a 1051 code 3. Available units near the 20,000 block of East Central. Please respond over. You think they'll rescue us? <sighs> Only better man, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> but do you think they will? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck. Chuck, that's it. I never did like you. Oh my god, oh me died. Chuck. Look, I think it'd be a lot wiser if we say contained Frank and Freddy, you know what I'm saying? No, what do you mean contained? Well, what I mean is lock them in a room somewhere so if they started acting funny, they wouldn't hurt anybody. They don't want to hurt anybody. You, <laughs> you bastard, why don't you lock yourself? Look, lady, we're not proposing doing anything to them for Christ's sake. We just want to lock them in another room so we can figure out how to get the hell out of here, all right? Tina, that really is a good idea. Where can we put him, Ernie? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 the, the chapel. All right, help me with Frank, please. Lift this off. Lift this off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he loves to scream. <laughs> <laughs> He's a damn good screen. Ready? <laughs> Look, let's just leave him and get out. I'm not leaving Freddy. We gotta lock the door, you know that. I'm staying. Okay. Not smart. Hmm. Come on, come on. So who's like the final person in this film? Or is that is a spoiler, I suppose? Or are there any final people? Dispatch, dispatch, dispatch. Oh, this is Bravo 751. We're at the morning. We're about to end. Uh, we see two, that is two, paramedic minutes, vehicles yeah. parked in the rear parking lot. The doors on one vehicle are hanging open. Stand by while we investigate. Over. Stand by while we investigate. Over. So the zombie outbreak, this this is, I think, different than... I don't know, there's tons of them, but uh, the, the zombie bite doesn't turn other people into zombies. Interesting. Right? No. Yeah, because we don't see suicide or scuds get back up. Yeah. Although, it, it did. Trash did, though. Trash the trash did. got the rain, the rain, yeah. like, absorbed into her skin, the uh, trioxin-infected rain oh, was burning Jesus. her skin. I think oh, that's yeah. what did okay. her in. She would have had the same fate as Steady. Marinated in the, the, um, this place. the mud. Everybody that comes in gets swallowed up. Send more cops. <laughs> That is deliberately hilarious. All over the cars. I know that. What are you proposing? What am I proposing? I think we all should do some damn proposing. This is great. The guy playing Spider. I was always surprised he didn't become like a bigger star. Yeah, I remember seeing that he was in. Um, we need a way to fight him. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that was funny. He plays Tommy that Jarvis in Friday the Second. Right. Pretty much destroy yeah. anything. Yeah, but just not a, not enough of it, right? And actually, suicide and Spider is in Part Five, and so is Suicide. The guy playing Suicide is in Part Five as well, but he's like unrecognizable. Oh yeah. shit! The suicide is so distinctive looking. Yeah. Yeah, Spider's probably the coolest looking guy out of all of them. I can finally see one thing. Thanks. And one thing only that can leave this world with suffering. What, Freddy? What? Live. <laughs> Is that tough? With the eclipses. Yes. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> the other guy got out. He ran, he ran behind them. He ran away. <laughs> oh god. It's like, yoink! Like all that running around, like they had to have gotten hurt a little bit doing these scenes. And the amount of like whacking they do of people's arms and stuff with the hammers and the Stop this and come back. We're gonna start towards the end stretch here. I think. We should. 
It's doing it itself. <laughs> All right. This. Is there an issue with Huh? The audio it seems to be like um, Can you hear me? Yeah. Please yeah. It's like really echoing now. Fuck you! Fuck you! I don't It's loud. It's not what saying. I can barely hear you guys. Oh! I just turned it down on my end. Does that affect you? Yeah, that works. Yep. Yep. I think that you want me. What trace out there? Okay, those are brown eyes. No. Oh, wait, no, not this. Coming up the <laughs> I don't think you... Go ahead. No, no, I'm wrong. Dude, like, how could you ever survive with that many... Like, if this really happened, you know, and they're all fast? You'd be dead. Yeah, these are the worst kind of zombies I've ever seen in film, in that they yeah. would kill everything. Normally yeah. zombies are useless, but these ones aren't. <laughs> Just the strength in, in numbers. And they're fast and intelligent. They can bite through a human skull. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those perfect teeth he talks about at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> Yeah. We're kidding, we're good. Oh, too bad. That would be incredible. Get in this movie. But 
it means the zombie gas spreads further. <laughs> Means if you're like a really fighty zombie, you'd be spreading. Oh no, now they did really good kill. Oh, that's a zombie, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. I was gonna say, imagine if that was a zombie, I forgot. Oh, oh that was way too much. <laughs> God, the freaking zombies. second because and stop the presentation and restart it because it's really annoying me yeah your Double audio is real fucked up yeah oh Let's... okay do the tab again i think it's because i presented before you guys had all joined uh oh wait wait yeah that's better Minor. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> oh, good. Are you presenting again? Yeah. <laughs> you can see it? Yeah. I can smell your brains. Look at the expression on this guy. You made me break my hand completely off. Is that a Lucas? You guys acknowledge. It's. I think it's a, one of those. What are they? A PP something or other? Like a. Um, it's a German gun, but it's not a Luger. It's a. Um, Nothing like it. Yeah, well. No, it's a Luger. No, it hasn't got the. Um, it, it, it has, I think it has like the. The, the, the very characteristic uh, the little round thing. Yeah, the, um, the, the... It's all button. <laughs> That's what they call that. <laughs> oh, that was good. Knocked his block off. <laughs> no, I didn't see the, um, the little uh, knee break thing for the uh, Luger. I think it, like you say, it's a Walther PPK. Is that right? Jesus Christ! That's our friend, the tall man guy. No, not a PPK. Some other kind of Walther. Yeah, give me the police. It's an emergency, operator. Captain. Yes, more police. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Some more cops. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, you gotta help us. There's a bunch of us trapped inside. Oh, I think that's a director. We can't get out of here. Oh. First of all, Mister, what the hell it's is going on there? P38. I, I think. Look, there are a bunch of people in the cemetery who start staring mad, and they'll kill you and eat you if they catch you. It's like a disease. It's like rabies, only faster. It's a lot faster. That's why you gotta come in here right now and get us the hell out of here right now. Please, please. Just a minute. I can't hear you. There's, There's still a German pistol. Hey, what the hell is going hmm. on? The guns do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. So close. <laughs> so close. Damn. Yes, so far. We are. We've got how many minutes left? Nine minutes left to go. 
Nine minutes. Nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I say nine. These free. <laughs> What is it? What have they done to her mouth? Gosh, I think she just has gosh. a big mouth. That means they're breaking out of the barricade. And they're using Jesus strange angles. <laughs> they're actually phoning the experts now. <laughs> what are you doing? Reading the barrels. Yeah, we got a, some packages to the wrong address 20 years ago. Calling the number stenciled on the side of the tank. Your name, please. Virg Wilson. Stay on the line, Mr. Wilson. You're being transferred. Stay on the line. This is Q, Denver. Go ahead. Denver, this is Wichita. I've got a CLY priority on a 113. Who's up? That would be Colonel Glover, San Diego. I'll put you through. <laughs> yes. Yes, Captain. Monogram pajamas, yes. I love. Yes, put them on. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Wilson, uh, where are you calling from? I see. Uh, when did this take place? And when was the tank first breached? Why didn't you call his number immediately? His wife looks like a zombie. I see. It's understandable. Uh, what what happened next? Oh, you did. Yeah, it's got a and then we went over to the German guys, please, and tried to burn the thing. <laughs> so, uh, what did you do then? I took a baseball bat and swung it, knocked his head. I made more of those. <laughs> really? How many did you say? <laughs> no more. How many no acres does the cemetery cover, sir? Yes, I see. I see. Yes, I see. Uh, of course. Uh, thank you for your assistance, Mr. Wilson. I'm going to switch it back to Captain Turner now. He'll talk to you. The Red Room. <laughs> so red. So very red. Sure. Nuke it from orbit. That's how you get rid of it. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Send in the B 52s. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when they're all in that car, and I was thinking, uh, Sir, um, this is you know, Glover. that line from uh, I'm Love Sorry Shack? to disturb you at this hour, sir. <laughs> You've got a car that's as big as a whale, it seats like about 20. <laughs> yeah, it's great, yeah. Packed a lot of punks in that car. <laughs> They've turned up in Louisville. I'm getting confirmations on this from the Louisville Police Department. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky, sir. Kentucky, that's oh, where I'm. Oh, sir, it would be good news. I ain't a hell lips. The eggs have hatched. Nice. What are they doing, man? Hang on a second, would you? Yeah, yeah that's her. Didn't you oh, recognize her? Just people seem yes. to say this. The they're waiting for girl. this to happen. Apparently, they got some <laughs> sort of uh, contingency plan to deal with it. Huh? Well, that's great. What is it? <laughs> well, it's not for you. Good Sergeant Jefferson, 42nd Special Mobile Artillery. Yes, sir. Good morning to you too, sir. Yes, sir. All right, sir. All Whatever right. you say, sir. The code numbers, please, sir. Archimedes, hot dog, yeah. bar, niner, zero, niner. Gotcha, so sir. It is a nuclear launch vehicle. Barry, mark 220. Oh, no. Barry, 220. Range mark 134 miles. Range 134 miles. Well, they do have nuclear, um, like, uh, shells in guns. That is. <laughs> Run! Listen. Get to the chopper. You hear anything? <laughs> Spectacular 
result, sir. Very close to optimal placement. Well, sir, only 20 square blocks destroyed. Less than 4,000 dead, General. I wouldn't worry about the fires, General. Yeah. The rain is taking care of that right now. Oh, no, oh. it's gonna spread well, it. there have been complaints about burning skin, but I shouldn't worry. Uh, minor well, irritation, not. General. Uh, the rain will wash everything away. That's correct, sir. All should be back to normal by morning. Yes, sir, I understand the President will visit Louisville tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't want that to happen, sir. No, sir, this hasn't been very pleasant for anyone. Yeah. Thank you, sir. One of my very yeah, few issues with this. Costume. This is a way of life. Man, it's a hundred of those fuckers. A hundred? Brains. God damn. I, 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 think, I, I think things are getting out of here. Well, that was certainly a um, an interesting movie. <laughs> no, it, it feels a little bit like a like a joke in the sense that the entire movie leads up to the punchline of that bomb yeah and, and the uh, and the smoke and the rain <laughs> yeah totally cool. well they did um you know yeah like you're saying they did kind of build that up very well didn't they you know they told us that happened in the beginning with the um the cremation and yeah, and introducing that uh, that general character right off the bat, like it, it was probably like the maybe the third scene in or so that they introduced him, and you know that scene where with his wife in the morning and stuff, and he's like, "Damn it, asshole!" <laughs> it felt almost like to me, like they had thought of that afterwards, and just put that on because you could cut all the scenes with the general out and it wouldn't change the story of the film. I mean it obviously would change the ending, but you could you could take those scenes out with him and give it a different ending very easily. That's why I think it might have been like put on afterwards. Possibly. I wonder, yeah, I mean I sort of thought like would they need that setup with the general in the beginning? Maybe they do, I don't know. But it's like... whoever, whoever thought about it though and just said, you know what, let's let's do it that way and set up a sequel. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, just kind of planting yeah. the seeds and then letting you see where they go from there. Yeah, yeah. it was a pretty fun film. I love the, the comedy elements, how it was just so... Um, just completely liberal and they're not over the top jokes either it's just funny because it is funny yeah they're not like setting out mm -hmm. as deliberate jokes but they are I mean they are obviously jokes but they're not silly jokes like you know yeah. somebody saying yeah. small cops and 
lots and more mm -hmm. um, paramedics and you know, all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. You could imagine like a remake making a lot of the characters, the punks, as well as the, um, you know, Ernie and Frank and Bert and everyone being more wacky or giving them more like sort of obvious eccentric yeah. comedic personalities or something. Yeah. So uh, I like that. It's not like that. Yeah, same. Yeah, it's good the way they did it. And they didn't make it too gross either. Even though, you know, it is a zombie film, there's dead bodies being reanimated and stuff like that, and you see this, like, <laughs> <laughs> spines moving and stuff. It's not, like, horrific. They yeah. could have been done a lot more horrific. Like, especially with yeah. the, like, that guy who's, um, you know, the cadaver in the start, like, they had to saw his head off with a hacksaw. <laughs> but the, even that is I not... thought you were going to turn it off in a second I'm like oh shit here he goes we're mm -hmm. gone <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what I also really like that this first guy the cadaver is not actually like he's a very low key threat uh, not very scary not very threatening in the sense that uh, like they, they really control him relatively easily but uh, then it escalates. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it starts like quite realistic, so to speak, in a way. I, I kind of really noticed that this time. Before the real insanity gets going, you see the tar man, you see the, you know, the actual bodies coming up. Mm -hmm. The brain. It starts, uh, yeah, a lot more kind of low key in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it... and the real, the real threat is uh, that the, the the strength in numbers, in my opinion, like mm. they they are simply far too many to take care of. Yeah, 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 and you can't kill them easily. You can't kill them at all. Like the only ways to kill them are ways that make them spread. So you know, by burning them. So the only real way to, to deal with them would be to come. <coughs> them into pieces and restrain the pieces that just get vaccinated end. guys Everybody <laughs> get vaccinated and we don't have to deal with it <laughs> exactly bloody have you guys uh, have you seen any of the sequels to this return of living dead two and three and maybe more <laughs> a long time yeah. ago um if i'm not mistaken i I think I'm getting them mixed up. I don't remember the second one very well. I think the third one is specifically about a girl, right? I remember her doing like she starts like shoving all these like nails and stuff through her skin and like Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that one or at least part of it and I kind of I don't know, it wasn't really grabbing me. It doesn't really feel like this. Apparently the the sequel to this has the, the same actor the same two actors, Freddie and um Frank. Oh yeah. I remember well, that. I don't little... remember ever seeing it, but yeah. yeah, they're like in different roles now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, they're reprising. Yeah, not reprising their parts, but yeah, still in the film. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but they didn't. I don't know if they have the same vibe as this movie. I don't remember ever seeing the second one, but I tried watching the third, and it, I don't know. It didn't really make an impression on me. Yeah, from what I remember, it just has kind of a different tone. Like, it's not really comedic. I'd have to watch it again. I probably should watch it before I talk. But from what I remember, um, it just, the tone is very different. And right. Like, I think it came out in, what, probably the late 90s, was it? Or maybe even the early 2000s? Oh, was it that late? Yeah, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure. Um uh, Race to the Grave, I think, maybe was at that time. Because I remember one coming yes. out. Early. Yeah, that one's a little later. Yeah, I think that's in the 90s or 2000s, yeah. Wow, so they kept on making them. <laughs> it's a whole franchise. Oh, yeah. Very. Uh, so the first film in the franchise is still treated just like a film. In in world is it basically? So that's... I 
Oh, like you mean the original Night of the Living Dead? Hmm. Treated as a film in this? Yeah. I mean, it is in the first one. I was just wondering if it is in the other ones as well. No idea. We'll just ignore it. <laughs> but I also really like that because uh, making it, like making, acknowledging the previous film, but the, yes, the previous film, but as a film, gives you creative freedom to do whatever you like because yeah. the film is not supposed to be necessarily accurate. So, yeah. yeah. The film yeah. lied to us. Yeah. <laughs> and it's true because it, it takes it and it puts the Return of the Living Dead more in our world then because that's how we look at Night of the Living Dead. So it's like, it feels mm -hmm. more like it's in our universe. In a yeah. Sense. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, it gives it more reality. Oh, we should wrap this up now, I suppose, because we were almost two hours long for a quick cast. Well, it's a oh, movie. God. It's a movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I feel like we didn't say a whole lot, but... Um... I didn't think there needed to be a lot said. I think the movie speaks for itself. And to be completely, utterly fucking honest, the only reason why I mentioned the that we watch this movie is because I wanted to watch this movie. I don't care what anybody else thinks because I just wanted to watch this fucking movie. Oh yeah, man, I'm all over it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, we're, we're going to watch it again next week. That'll be the new yeah. cat. Let's see how we go with copyright. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. We got boobage and swearing and butts. The best things. <laughs> all the best Eels. things. Bubes. Happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. Happy, happy. All right. Bye bye. Ciao.